it is a concept that, that, that yeah so the geometry that. exists so, so you can you can you can do it and you can do the calculations and you can see the warp drive you can construct wormholes that connect distant regions of the universe which you could use as time machines um, you can do all that in the theory but in nature you'd have to have the right stuff to do it but that stuff is not real that seems to be as the far case. as we know yeah now what would have to happen like the, you would have to have a, enough power or mass to, to to be able to fold those two things together it, like it tends to be weird stuff like um stuff that has a negative pressure or something like that so stuff that has physical properties that are just bizarre and, and that no matter or energy that we know of in the universe has so that that to make to make the geometry happen but it's conceivable in theory that this could exist even though it doesn't it's a it's a it's a debate ultimately um so wormholes is a good example so that would be quite literally it we talked about the surface of the earth so you fly to australia from la and you have to go quite a long way around this edge of the earth or you could tunnel straight through and get there quicker right so there you can that, that's a worm jamie's hole. got a little graphic up there on the there it is for there's us. a worm hole. so you could go all the way around the edge or you could cut take the shortcut so the mm. question is, so you can do that in Einstein's theory. You can write down that geometry, and, and there it is. So the first question is, can you make it? And, and as we said, we, we don't think that stuff exists. Right. There's a second set of theoretical bits of theoretical work, which are, if you had a wormhole, then what would happen if you tried to travel through it? And what seems to happen is that, is that they become unstable the moment that anything tries to go through. So you get kind of a feedback of stuff uh. going through and through and through and through, and so it collapses. And there's a great there's a great book by Kip Thorne actually. We just mentioned him. He got the Nobel Prize last year for the gravitational waves, and he wrote a brilliant book. I think it's in the eighties called Black Holes and Time Warps, where he talks about the the answer is we don't fully know, but most physicists think that even if they existed, they would be unstable. And as soon as you even tried to transmit information through them, send a bit of light through then there would be this sort of feedback and they'd collapse. And, and ultimately, the reason we don't really know absolutely is because you need what's called a quantum theory of gravity, and we don't have one. So we don't have the theoretical tools to be absolutely sure that these things would be unstable or, or don't exist in nature. But we strongly suspect that they don't. If they did, you could build a time machine. So the, Stephen Hawking wrote a paper <laughs> called The Chronology Protection Conjecture. Um, and conjecture is the important word. So he, uh, the, the conjecture basically was that the laws of nature will be such that